Thank you very much for staying with Afternoon Express here on S3. Oh, we're opening up to some delicious, delectable goodies here. And if you've ever uh, had a churro before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you've never had one, then you need to try this mini milk tart version we're going to be making. Oh, these crunchy little bites of fried dough coated in cinnamon sugar are too good to resist. Nobody ever should say no to them. And you serve them warm with a side of clover classic custard for that perfect tapas style dessert. Your teacher Teaching Jack Perra how to make dessert. Yes. He's good in the braai, but not so much with the desserts. Okay, mm. so, you know, the churros are so easy. They, yeah. They're a great way to just, you know, be playful and, and fun, and it's, it's really simple. So okay, cool. don't sweat too much, but I'm going to get started on the pastry or okay. the batter. So mm. we're using a shoe pastry type of um, dough here today. Mm. Shoe pastry is basically a, a in between a batter and a dough, yeah. and it's a high moisture content, so when you bake it, it sort of puffs up. So you can use this recipe to do uh, cream puffs, you mm. can use it to do profiteroles, and all I've got here is some boiling water, and some butter, and a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of salt. So you go in with that until oh. the sugar's dissolved, the butter's melted, yeah. and then we're gonna go in with all of our flour all at once. Huh? And Why then... all at once? Because usually you sort of pace yourself and you phase it in, right? Why all at once? So we're going all at once because you want to avoid having any lumps. Okay. So you add it in all at once. I'm gonna put down my heat We're and I'm gonna... gonna lump in his throat, but that's... <laughs> must, uh, it does look quite, it <laughs> does look quite straightforward. <laughs> it's very straightforward. So you're just gonna cook off the... Uh, the flour, and you can see it's already starting mm. to thicken up and really, really, really just motor away with this process. And then we're going to let this cool down and then we're basically going to add our eggs very gently. So Stunning. I've prepared some water for you <laughs> uh, there, Mr. Curry. You see, we take care of that. Thank, thank, thank you. That's why we call you Uncle Tubbs. Uh, this got us moment covered. is just too big for me. I need, I need to listen. So, <laughs> so we're gonna, that's good. It's so smooth. The so consistency. smooth. You can see the consistency. It falls off the spoon. Mm. Um, and then we're going to add our eggs. Now, very important to the viewers at home, yeah. eggs, you know, depending on where you buy them, some of them might be a bit bigger or smaller. Yeah. So don't add them all at once. Take your time while you're adding the eggs, and I'll show you Fantastic. how you know when it's ready. So this okay. is a batter that we've made previously. So yes. I'm just going to squeeze it out. Uh, you can see that it's is... got a pipeable texture. Oh, yeah, so yeah. It's, yeah. it's very pipeable. And then what I like to do is, as I'm adding the eggs, just grab a little bit between your fingers, uh -huh. and. The minute, the minute it sort of strings like that, you mm. know that the dough's ready. So, Mr. Jack Perro, it's your turn. You're okay. up next. I've done the easy part. Now it's time to Now this decide. is the real stuff. This is where okay. our churros really so are, could are you be gonna... a make or a break <laughs> in this process. This is, this is where it, it turns from a churro or shoe pastry yeah. to a shoe. Shoe! <laughs> shoe pastry, I love that. So grab the scissors. Are okay. you left or right-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay, mm. so let's see if you can multitask. Okay, uh, guys, so I'm going to go this, this side to squeeze and this side to cut. Right? Oh, go. you've done there this before. Go. I have not but it, I'm glad it looks like I am. So how much okay, do I squeeze in of this? So we're doing mini bites. We're so doing yummy little perfect. ones. That's and perfect. there we go. There we go. Ah. And we've added a little oh, start a nice onto the one. nozzle. We've, the, what's really iconic with a churro is those yeah. little ridges that you have on the edges. Mm. So that just helps you attain that, that beautiful the um, look. Yeah, that beautiful the look. It's kind, of, um, it's kind of like quite soothing to, to pressing okay. out these things and cutting them off. You're doing amazing. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm just scared of this little spit. So I, I like that you, 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 you sound like somebody who spends quite a bit of time, you know, giving yourself some self-care time, spending time with yourself. Uh, if it's not golf and gaming, uh, is, 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 is braying it for you? Braying, definitely. I also surf, so that's also a fun thing, but a lot of braying. I do, I do enjoy braying. I've got at my house, I've got a nice braai area with a bar and yeah. everything, so it's quite, a, it's quite a jaw. I love that. Um, and it's just, you know, a fire. I think it's built into to people. Yeah, yeah. Um, just how... Uh, like to put a fire, you uh, know? That's it. Like no, how we're able to make that. It's just, it's, 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 it's also, it helps. It helps knowing and having that skill. But what also helps as well is what I'm doing here. What I've done is I've poured some clever classic custard in there. Nice. That's a big skill. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. No, I saw. And we're making use of our clever really classic amazing. custard because, you know, we know that it's versatile. Jack Parra, you will know this because I'm sure you like this as well, as much as I do. Uh, you can use it with your desserts and it's also delicious on its own. And today it's bringing our churros uh, to life. And each spoonful of clever classic 
acid custard. It really is packed with all those vitamins and the calcium that you do need. Uh, so all you do is just pour it and simply enjoy it. Are you enjoying what you're doing there? This kind of looks like flings. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that, but, but you're onto the right point. It's sort of, they look like little fingers, yeah. um, and it's a great sort of vessel to dunk into your Clover Classic custard. Yeah, no, definitely. How many, is that enough for now? I think this is enough. We're going to okay. toss them in some cinnamon sugar and enjoy this a bit later. How do, you, how do you feel? I feel okay. very proud of myself. So what Extremely. I'm doing now is just getting <laughs> the cinnamon over a little bit there. And if you want to get yourself uh, this recipe and your hands, on it, go on to afternoonexpress.co.za. It's, it's, it's sure going to be one to please the crowd anywhere and everywhere. And I'm going to give it a bit of a taste here and I'll tell you exactly how that has come to together. I'm just acting like I can do some <laughs> mm. stirring this, like, mm, yeah, very good. Oh, yes. It's the moment. Go and make it. Afternoonexpress.co.za. Stanio, how are you doing? So, we've had classic fashion from Timby. Classic cars, thanks, Chad. And we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? Classic. A classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover.